left their glasses. We're headed towards a secluded beach area. You can't get to it by car or bike and uh, it's down this lane. Well, I thought this would be good for you. I'm not walking in after I used to, like the other one, 20,000 steps a day. Yep. But I'm on my feet all day, if that makes sense. So. Yeah. I've probably got about 6,000 steps in. And you can see the sea now, we're approaching it. We've been walking for what, 10 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes? Been walking for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, it's gonna be a bit of a climb back up, but. It won't be too bad, it? Nah, it's not super steep. Let's go and see where this place is. Spoilt is that totally totally back in nature it's absolutely gorgeous we haven't even got to the spot that we want to be at yet but just around this corner I think the sea really opens up well the scenery the scenery really opens up and we're gonna see the sea oh yeah look at this I'm your dream I'm your dream Ooh. I'm a woman <laughs> of the moonlight uh, Lay you down to sleep I know secrets for you then <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh that. I brought Lizzie to a secret place that not many people know about. I fell straight from the sky, oh honey, here I am. You've waited your whole life, oh honey, here I stay. So Lizzie, what do you think of it here, mate? What do you think of it here? Oh, it's just breathtaking, honestly. I cannot believe it. And we haven't even got down. We're going down to where the beach is now. So... I don't know what that bird is soaring around there. Oh, I'm so glad I brought my camera because I'm going to sit down for a while and just take photos and video and... Oh 
as they say, anything worth having, you have to fight for it, or you have to uh, work for it. And you don't want to video that little thing in there, little water, natural water. Huh. Yes, it's going to be tough walking back out of here, but we can take our time. We can walk. What? So worth it. Yeah, like Lizzie said, it's going to be so worth it. We've just got to uh, take our time walking back. I mean, my knee isn't the best knee in the world, to be honest with you. But um, wow. <laughs> and the temperature today, well, it's really warm, isn't it? It's well in the 70s today. Mm. I think it's 20 degrees at least. 20 degrees. It's beautiful. And it's our first day off today. Our first day off from the new job, isn't it? Yep. Our first day off. And we get to come and see this. I tell you what, you can keep all your big cities and your big hotels. And this is what we love. Just a simple, the simplest things are always the best, aren't they, Liz? What's the, the song? The best things in life are, are free. free. You can't give them to the birds and the bees. Oh no, that's not what money. <laughs> so so now we come to a fork in the road. One way leads to the um, cliff walks and one way walks down to the beach so which way are we going Liz? Good I'm glad you said that so we're gonna go down to the beach again I've made sure I took my A fever tablets you took yours so wish us luck here we go Like, back up, might need to get a, a trolley to pull me up. This is really steep. It won't show it on the GoPro, but it's really steep. <laughs> Put it this way, you wouldn't want to do it in flip-flops. Oh! <laughs> Told you. Go on then. This better, this better be worth it. Just don't look back. Don't look back. <laughs> I'm not. I wonder what's around this corner. No, you have to have my phone on Yeah. Oh. That doesn't look like a way down to me. Listen. I thought I could hear a waterfall. Right, let's have a look through here. No, oh. 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 Yeah. Yes. You're right. What's up? Get up on show. <sighs> I couldn't stop right there. <laughs> yep. <sighs> oh, so we should have come down there. Come down. So where the where, where the road split, yeah. we should have actually come down. So I bet up there it splits again. <laughs> so you can walk to Branscombe from here.
miles. So we went a slight deviation on the path, but we're back on it. It's gonna be a real sod on the way up. so far in front of me I can't hear a word she's saying but she does what she always does and keeps talking to me even though I can't hear a word she's saying does your other half do that she, because I've got a bit of a bad knee I find going downhill really difficult um, I know what the problem is because I actually worked on knees most of my half my life as a sports therapist so um, Thanks if you want to give me a tip, but... <sighs> she don't want to wait for me, look. Step by step, day by day, burning the wire. Pushed around, nowhere bound, no solid ground. How can I get it back? How can I be strong? And all I do comes Now. Word of warning. Well, first off, I can hear a waterfall down there. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Yeah, so word of warning. Um, this is not an easy path to take. So, if you've got any injuries, or you're pretty unfit, or you're quite elderly and not able to do what you used to do, you might want to rethink this one. Yeah, there's a little hut down there. We just met an old couple, uh, mid 60s, you know, kind of retirement age. They were going back up the hill, <laughs> well fitter than us. So, so right up there is, the, is like a coastal route that goes around to Branscombe. And uh, we're in a place today called Weston, uh, Weston Beach. Ooh. Whew. It's beautiful, look. Oh. 
Come on. This is a nudist beach. Yeah, I think um, someone said it right, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it is a, it's a certified nudist beach. Yeah. We're not here for that reason, believe you me. But, you want to watch out who you look at. A <laughs> dog. He jumps up to his head. Lizzie and I have only just realised this is actually a designated nudist beach, and you can see one over there. braver than we are. I would have gone in the sea if I'd have had the right shoes, but these stones are... Uh, I would have gone in, but the stones are... Nah. We've been here a couple of hours now. I think we're going to take the long trek back. It's now... It's 20 past two, and uh, we'll see how long it takes us to get back up. I'm not moving, I am moving. I'm turning around. I'm getting out of here very quickly. I'm escaping. Actually, he's, he's walking up the, up, up the back end of the beach now. For a year, so <laughs> yeah, look at it sparkling. Yeah, Whoa, that's a find and a half. That is, oh, yes. Plenty of sea air. 
I see some really weird things when I was lying on the beach in my mind though. You know like um spooky pirate thing I was seeing in my in but it wasn't it was like um skeleton. You know when people have tattoos on them, a skeleton and it's like the rib cage. Right. Well I can see that and the heart going Oof. I had a dream last night. Did you? Guess it wasn't it was a very strange dream. Guess who I met? Me. The devil. That's why we're seeing over there. I met the devil in my dream and he was telling me all this stuff about the way of the world and everything. And I hold on. And I said to him, I don't care. It doesn't bother me anymore. I'm not interested. I've got what I want and I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. And he had no power over me at all because he couldn't make me believe in anything he was saying because I wasn't interested. That's weird because when I was just literally laying over weird. there, you know where I think it was joint like that? Yeah. So we was laying like that. Yeah. And my hand was going all fizzy. Ooh. Yeah, let's let me finish. Let's yeah. The and then I was seeing this rib cage. Yeah, with no flesh on it, it's just a rib cage with the heart fudding and then like, you know the devil's faces that people have tattooed on them, they kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I was seeing <laughs> over there and I was trying to go, going, yeah I'm not interested, I don't need to know, <sighs> go away, I'm not, I don't need to speak to you have no bearing on me anymore. Wow, man. We're both having some weird That's dreams. So I had weird dreams. Mine was this one I was laying there on the beach. It wasn't like a night. Just take... Just saying you'll never forget that. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Because I don't think I was there. 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 It's a goodbye to Western Beach yeah, from. My leg, look. What? You might be able to see by how my leg goes up the hill, look. Yeah. Well, it's goodbye from Western Beach. We've had a really good day. Really, really good day. I recommend you come. Don't we, Liz? No. No, no, we don't recommend you come. Stay away from here. It's pointless you come in here. It's really good. You'll love it, absolutely love it. But Just whatever you do, don't look up. Lizzie said, "Don't look up." Oh, I looked. I've had to take a sit down. Feels like the uh, feels like I'm at 5,000 feet altitude. I don't think I could do. There's Lizzie, look. I'm doing Great Wall of China. That's for sure. Oh, it's not steep like this. No. No. This is really steep. Very steep. I'm not fit, but my knee doesn't help. It doesn't help, it really starts to give way. 
I was supposed to have a knee replacement, but I just didn't want to. Um, I wanted to hold it off for as long as possible because I've literally got bone on bone in my left knee, and I've done a lot to get it better, haven't I, Liz? Mm -hmm. And it, it is way better than it was. The idea is to go very slowly but steadily. Honestly, you start walking and within 20 or 30 steps, you're already puffing. is walking up backwards when actually you're supposed to train like that you're supposed to do both ways It's like 100 degrees today. There's no air. This is a real workout. What? To be with my beautiful lady, doing this, even though it's hard, I wouldn't swap it for anything. Would we, Liz? Except my a barbecue and a beer, maybe. Yeah, and a nice cold drink. Maybe someone to tone me up. It eases out a bit up there, look. You, you said that when I was down there. No, you can see the camber. I think on the GoPro this is actually going to look steep. Yeah, a sweat haze steaming off you. Right quite a long way to go yet we're not even halfway I've just done a hundred steps and stopped that's what I'm gonna keep doing count a hundred steps and stop for a sec we're We're 25 minutes in. I still don't think we're halfway. 10. Twenty. Eighty. Hundred. It's just a couple of minutes after the last bit, and uh, it's evened out much easier now, so I can actually walk better. Um, this is right up there. I don't know if you can see. I look. Nature is just so inspiring. You know. Can you see how that one flower? That one flower's blossoming amongst all that. You get others. There's another one up here. I can't remember what they're called. Um, I can't remember. Now I know why I like riding motorbikes for adventure. 
<laughs> this is having a sit down. Heva. Ready? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> the fires are gone. <sighs> At least some of this is under shade as well. I stopped for a bit. I thought, oh, I need to get under the shade. Yeah. Well, it's about 10 minutes later. We're still going and the ground has changed to really hard, like flint stones. <laughs> Meet the flint stones. So it makes you walk in. Yeah, you can really twist the angle very easy. It looks like this is another bad bit here, what I'm on now, but even there's out a little bit up there. Uh, that's interesting. Very shady. Anyway, I've got to press on. I wonder if Lizzie's looking back can't see me. That was mean. two whips of me that is I think we're getting close to the destination now look do you know how I know that there's an arrow pointing in the way if he was left out in a place like this all on your own your senses would be on alert all the time like I could hear something moving it was a bird it flew across and leaves fell down but like then I mean you hear something you never know what's going to be and then you see something like a tree it's been like cut down I don't know if you can see that there look yep right yeah, you see a tree like that that's been cut down and you think how the hell did someone cut that down? I mean, it's just too straight, too perfect to cut to say that, you know, like this one. I mean, fair enough, this one is right on the edge of the road here, but that one's right up there. Who would have cut that down? And when? And why? Anyway. It's not far now. I can sense it. I've hit another steep part. I'm 45 minutes in nearly. And This is pretty tough. I'm not sure, in all honesty, what I said before about going, I'd do it again. It's a bit much for me. I'd need to be way, way fitter. But next time I come, I've got to try and beat this time. feeling a little bit sick now I think the heat is getting to me a bit I've not eaten since 8 o'clock this morning I burn. hello 
I think it's a little robin. Well, what do you want? It's like my little spirit guide. Come on. Come on, Robin. Or Sparrow, whatever you are. Huh? Why are you walking around me? Hmm? Huh? You showing me the way out? Huh? Yeah? Okay, well, we'll see you later. Ooh. Animals. They're so cool, aren't they? Oh, it's still going uphill. Yeah, animals. Ah, I see cars. I see cars. At last. I see Lizzie resting on a lamp on a post. She made it well before me. Well, I think that's about it for this vlog, didn't you, Liz? Are you tired? How long do you think? How long do you think that took us? Too long. Have a guess. Um, forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. It took me. It took me forty-five minutes. So we're at forty-nine actually now. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Excuse me. Oh. That one's inquisitive, he's trying to get through. Isn't he? Oh, yeah. All right. Hello. <laughs> Look how their little bodies move when they're breathing. Mm. <laughs> <Well. laughs> That's it for another thrilling uh, adventure. And uh, join us again on our next, next adventure. Say goodbye, Lizzie. Bye, Lily. Bye.